The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my heavenly Father. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse it had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. By the words of the gospel, may our sins be wiped away. Human history has seen the coming and the going of many empires, many kingdoms, many royal household, many isms, many charismatic leaders, many evil leaders. And people have put their trust and their hope in all of these but they've come and gone. Even the temple in Jerusalem that Isaiah speaks of as a safety net for the people of Israel was brought down to nothing in the year 70. Our readings today remind us that our lives must never be founded on anything or anyone other than God. God and God's truth, God and God's revelation of self in Jesus Christ, his eternal word enfleshed. Other things may bring us temporary comfort. Other things may give us a false sense of security for a while, but anything that is not the truth is not going to give us any form of eternal satisfaction, eternal comfort eternal life. And so today, as we're plodding through this Advent season, and as we honor the memory of St. Ambrose, let us ask God to keep us always founded on the sure foundation of his love, his truth, his son, Jesus. And then, no matter what comes our way, no matter what the challenges and difficulties, Oh, it might be scary, but we will endure. We will persevere. And we will then come one day to the eternal reality that never ends, that will never fail us, that will never be taken away. The reality of the full revelation of God's kingdom, where Jesus has gone before us to set for us the feast of everlasting life.